In this training video, we're going to look at linking shapes to Excel data. So there's just some picture shapes in this in this diagram, which we're then now going to link to an Excel data file. So to do this, going to go through the data tab, going to do a custom import on an Excel file in this example. I'm going to browse for it. And the videos are the files are once in here. This is the file I want. Just gonna go through the wizard now. Leave it on the default recommendation. And I'm just gonna finish. All right, so it's brought in all the data from the Excel file. Now we'd have to know which person is which person. So we can now click and drag the data onto the person's picture. So I can just click and drag straight onto the person. And that aligns what's called a data graphic. So as soon as you link, a data graphic is generated. We can control this. So same again. Under three other pictures so this is now all linked to Excel data now what I want to show next to their faces is the I can choose now the kind of information I want quarter one quarter two quarter three so I want to show their annual target so I'll just show the annual target well what the target is for these people so it's this field here I want to show in this example, now I'm going to close the Excel data window down, make it bigger in Excel. I can now go to the data graphics, and the one that's been demonstrated at present is this one here. Now I don't need to use this one because when you link, you get all sorts of data graphics that come with it. I could choose another one, and I can even modify them. So I'm going to highlight all the shapes. Go to the advanced data graphics and I'll pick a so that's the one applied by default. I'll go and see what this one is. So they'll give me another one here with text against it. So that gives me the the region and the quarter one target. Well actually I'll leave the region there because I'm I'm gonna leave that there. I might also want their name. So let's go back to that particular data graphic. Now it's linked. And we can do a bit of modification because I can now right click it and edit it. So it's showing a quarter one. I'm going to say this one I don't want. I'm going to show their name. So I'm going to new item. And I want the business development manager. And I want that as text. And then you can choose the position. So I'll have it. So the default is far right. I can take the default off and I can show it different positions. Middle, I'm going to go bottom. This example, I'll go bottom edge, far right, click OK. And I can see how this is working so far. Apply and OK. So now I've got the name of the person, what region they're coming from. I might say I want their turnover to be top left. So top left up here will give the annual turnover. So, so top right. So I go top right, top right, top right. It'll give me a bit more space between this picture. So I'm going to go top right. And I'll do the last data graphic as annual turnover. So I'm just going to edit. Add a new one. I want the annual target. I want to display it as text. And I don't want to use the default position. I want it top and far right. And then OK. 
And there's an example of the information you can now store for each of the people. We've got the target, if I make it a bit bigger. I change it to 60%. A bit bigger maybe. Okay, this kind of size we can see the annual target, the region of the business manager, the name, and you can see that you can always make these a bit bigger, you can extend them a little bit so they look a bit nicer. Something like this. But this is now shown in this video of how to manually link Excel data to an image in this example. When you've manually linked, you then get what's called data graphics and you can manage the data graphics, which in this example will show an annual target, the region and who the business manager is. So this is what it now looks like in standard view. And then this kind of information can be printed or can put in data, different data graphics. But this completes the training video on linking Excel data to shapes and images by manually linking the Excel data and then choosing whatever data graphics you want to use in line with the images and pictures. Now the beauty about this kind of link, this kind of diagram, if the Excel data is updated, so will the information update after a refresh, because there's a refresh option here. So when the Excel data is updated, the picture will update itself with all the images and all the data graphics as soon as refresh all is selected. But this completes the training video on linking Excel data to images. We had to do it manually in this case, and then we then controlled data graphics for the link. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.